I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't have all the answers. I'm, you know, this is my first time with locks and I am flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Hey girl, hey! What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Black and a Berry. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Nikki. And on my channel, we basically just kind of talk about my locks for the most part. Um, I wanted to take some time to document my lock journey. In the beginning, it was a beauty channel, right? It was a beauty pick channel. And kind of like educational where I uplift and talk about um, black influential black women um past present all that kind of stuff but then it kind of evolved and turned into my lock journey so if this is your first time joining me thank you for joining us here at black of the berry and if you are a returning subscriber you know what it is what's up thank you for coming back okay so Today's video is basically um, what I have promised you guys for the past couple of months and I have been slacking to say the least but this is basically um, just a quick retighten video I didn't really want to get like too deep into retightening because I am not a licensed cosmetologist I am not a stylist I am not a loctician. This is basically me documenting my journey and how I maintain these beautiful, lovely locks of mine. And so um, I'm not going to be like too, too, too detailed just because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't have all the answers. I'm, you know, this is my first time with locks and I am flying by the seat of my pants. Um, I did start my sister's locks and my niece's locks, but they don't have micro locks or braid locks. They have traditional locks and their locks are actually flourishing. So I do know a little bit about locks, but not a whole lot at all. I was actually retightening my hair for the past two days. So Saturday and Sunday, majority of the time was spent retightening my hair and I promise you guys a retightening video and so that's what this is just kind of a quick overview of how I do my retightening process so I am going to insert a clip of me doing my retightening videos it's not from today it's actually from last night when I was finishing up and I almost forgot about y'all so uh, I had to remind myself like oh crap I need to document my retightening so I think I had like three left right here in the front and so um, I just hurry up recorded it I didn't really say any, I didn't say anything at all actually because I had almost forgot so I was just trying to rush and my feet were killing me my arms were killing me my back was killing me so it's fairly brief oh wait you know what I didn't just I quick draw McGraw I'm so quick to try to talk to you guys about what the video is about I forgot to tell y'all to tell somebody that know somebody that know somebody else about Black and Berry. Like, can y'all please subscribe? Just subscribe, like, comment, hit the little hit the little bell wherever it is. One of them somewhere over there. Hit the little bell so that way y'all are notified of when I upload a video. Okay, let me hop into these tools real quick so y'all can get to the to the real meat. Of the video but what I've basically been using for my retightenings is either um, I use some type of like spray so it'll be like either uh, my mixture of water aloe vera juice rose water um, it'll be either that and I use this spray bottle or it'll be my rose water and glycerin Anyway, it says rose water and glycerin on there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm always spraying with one or the other. And then I also use um, 
one of the tools and it's crazy because I really just been flip-flopping I've really been wishy-washy about my tools but one of um, one of my subscribers I believe she's a subscriber she actually recommended that I take this tool which I originally said that I did not like using but she actually recommended that I take this tool and widen uh, where the hair actually is threaded in and so I did that and now I love this tool. Um, I tried it out with this recent retie and it has worked like this has worked wonders. I took a, a pair of scissors and I just kind of uh, well I didn't do it I'm gonna be honest I ain't do this my husband did this I couldn't figure it out I didn't really want to figure it out uh, he figured it out but what I did do after he put the scissors in the hole uh, where you thread your hair um, it was a little like snaggy from the scissors like it was kind of like some jagged edges on there and so I filed it down buffed it out this is amazing And I've also had to use this rat tail comb, which I use this end of the comb to basically help kind of define my parts a little bit more. I'm not a real stickler on my parts, to be honest with y'all. Like, the grid is there. It's all in place. I just try to make sure I don't marry two locks for the most part but I'm not like a super big stickler on my party but I do use a rat tail comb to kind of like help clean it up and make sure um, I get some of those outside hairs in into the lock and that kind of stuff and last but not least I also use duck, duck bill clips um, I use these and I basically use this to kind of keep the hairs surrounding the lock that I'm actually working on at that time um, I use this to keep the hair surrounding that lock in um, in place and out of the way so it doesn't marry or um, little stray hairs don't go into that lock if, if I I don't know if I'm articulating that well enough for you to understand but you'll see in the video I'm just gonna say that I'm just gonna zip it and jump right into this clip. So here you go. It's somewhere. <laughs> hey guys, at this point I'm about to thread my hair into the interlocking tool. And as you can see, I have the duck bill clips isolating the surrounding locks so that I can focus more on the lock that I'm working on and I'm going to use a two point rotation so I'm going to go from the side so I'm going to do basically from three to nine and then I'm going to do north to south or 12 to six so I'm going to go east to west and then north to south and I'm just going to do that back and forth, east to west, north to south. And I always end on the north to south pass. This angle is north to south because I want my hair to lay falling to the side. That's why I have that middle part. And I just basically just go back and forth from east to west, north to south, east to west, north to south, and I make sure I end north to south. And like I said, I'm doing a two point rotation. And please forgive me because I'm doing this almost blindly, it's in the camera. And I have no more passes left, so I'm done with that lock. And that's basically how I do my two-point rotation interlocking process. I have a second lock to do, so I'm going to spray, make sure I moisturize. 
Make sure I wrap any loose hairs that um, are outside of the lock around the lock. And then I am going to thread the lock into the interlocking tool. And I'm going to begin east to west and then north to south. Being sure to um, make sure I pull the interlocking tool all the way up to um, the new growth, like all the way up to where the new growth stops. So when you pass your interlocking tool in through the new growth, make sure you pull all the way up till it meets where your lock is actually locked right where the new growth stops because um, that's going to help you prevent uh, getting holes in your locks. So I just keep going east to west, north to south until I have no more passes left. And it's basic, interlocking is basically, it is absolutely user friendly. I think it's something that if you pay attention to detail, um, just pay attention to the, the, the steps. I think that with time, it's something that anyone can, can maintain and manage themselves. And I'm doing this with no mirror. This is me interlocking in a camera, which could absolutely be detrimental, but I did it for you guys. And that looks like I have no more passes left on that one. So I think I'm done on that one. And I have one more lock that I can show you, show you guys. Okay, we down to the last lock, y'all. At this point, I'm exhausted and I'm a hot mess, but I'm starting off east to west. So you'll see me go up east to west. And as you can see, I'm going to pull up when I go through the new growth. Up till it can't go any further. And then I go through and I just keep going east to west, north to south. And it really doesn't matter which way you do it. If you go east to west or west to east, that part doesn't matter. Just try to remember to end north to south where your lock is laying, going downward. That way, when you do your next retie, you can start from east to west or west to east and you shouldn't get any holes in your locks because you always in north to south, so going downward. And I just keep doing this process until I've done and completed every single lock. And this is me checking to make sure I don't have any hairs locked in there that I shouldn't because even with the duck bills in place, Sometimes little hairs get in there. But here we are. We're all done. And this was a long, excruciating process. But I am completely finished. Thank the Lord. Y'all have no idea, honey. This was a journey. So now that I have completed my retightening, I am going to do a 360 for you guys so that you can see how the retightening turned out. Check out the parts, check out the grid, you feel me? A sister got a little skill. I mean, I'm just saying for this to be my second retie, I just feel like, you know, I can't complain too much. I think it's not too shabby wabby. But nah, y'all, I'm proud of myself. So when if you if you are maintaining your locks at home or on your own, kudos to y'all for real. 
because it takes man it, it takes some patience for sure but that's it you guys I'm starting to get a little bit of link too I'm noticing that and here's a little slow-mo action for you just a little bit and that's all folks so that's basically my retightening process i appreciate y'all for stopping by don't forget like comment subscribe all that good stuff hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video and don't forget to tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody else about black and a berry y'all this world is insane i'm not really sure it's gonna get any better anytime soon but i just want to give a kind reminder please be kind to one another and then come back come back and see me i'll see y'all next time